What is up guys, it's me the Gaming D, and welcome back to another video. Guys, this is episode number 7 of the WWE 2K22 Created Superstar Showcase. This episode we're showing off women wrestlers. This is going to be part 1 of the ongoing women's wrestlers showcases. We have 8 wonderful superstars here. I hope you guys do enjoy all of them. I've had these collected for quite some time, <laughs> so I hope you do enjoy them. These people People have probably made more stuff in the meantime so go check out all these creators and uh yeah so enjoy and let's get into this with what i picked for superstar number eight now with superstar number eight we have teresa dunn created by funky pasta now with this superstar here uh it's kind of like a i'd say a stereotypical indie superstar where she she's trying to you know find her way she's trying to set up like a, a theme to her you know to her character uh she seems more of like kind of like the badass girl she's got her sh uh, you know a shaved head with like a design in the side and then she's also trying to trying to pull the carmella you know and have you know the the cheetah print all over her gear and even with her second attire this cheetah print's there it's still there but it's not the main focus and this is kind of like the maybe the the bad side of her where you know the, the first attire is you know the good girl you know she's trying to she's trying to get out there and then she just kind of goes to the dark side and uh, it looks really good so thank you so much for that and let's get on to super Superstar and number seven. Now with Superstar at number seven, we have a Roxanne created by Trey Bale. This really, really reminds me of Johnny Gargano's wife. I can't think of her name, well, but it's it's um it's plaid. It's a, like a, a like a pink purple plaid, and it just it just screams like NXT 2.0. <laughs> like she's she's just like it's like she just started. Uh, wrestling uh, maybe six months ago and she had to come up with some attire straight off the you know the top of her dome and this is this is what she's doing like she's a good looking girl she's trying to be like the good guy but maybe she ends up changing over to the you know the bad side later on after she gets a little popularity but it looks really good i you know everything matches uh just perfect like and, but from the boots all the way up to the hair everything just fits perfectly so thank you so much for that and let's get on to superstar number six now with superstar number six we have mks created by mysterious disciple mega now this is kind of like a rhea ripley type character where she's very gothic Wh whatever you want to you want to call her she's got even like a like a mask on like she's just trying to hold back something you know she's got the all black with the studs in in the pants and then you know she, her entrance attire she has the leather jacket with spikes on and then she's even got like chains on her around her neck you know like she's just an animal that's just be waiting just waiting to come out and she's she's probably gonna be an animal like straight crazy like i give her a mixture of like an oscar and a rhea ripley like the she's probably a badass powerhouse like rhea ripley but she's just crazy and just everywhere like oscar and i like it a lot so thank you so much for that and let's get on to superstar number five now with superstar number five we have lady death created by teddy hercules now what the main thing that stuck out to me with lady death here is the white hair and the pure like white skin it's like she's you know in the the game god of war like she's she's uh kratos's sister or something you know she's she's ready to go into battle with you know her she's it's kind of like a victorian like styled belt and everything on everything on her it just she doesn't look like she's from this time period she might be like a vampire or something but she just looks looks incredible like it's it's so nice something about like the the pure white skin uh and then the kind of darker parts of the attire that it just makes the attire pop more and i like it a lot so thank you so much for that and let's get on to superstar number four now with superstar number four we have a cast created by Man manus i think that's how you say it it's nice 
It's really, really, really nice. It's sick. Uh, it's like a biker chick uh, kind of theme going on uh, with it, with like the the bandana. You know, you got the the boots that have like the the bandana print on them, and even on like the knee pads. And then once you get up into the the gear, it gives me like a Victoria vibes with the you know the spider webs on it. But it's just a heart in the middle of. It. And then you got you know the tatted up arms, and she she just looks sick. She just, she really looks like, uh, she She really does remind me, like, now that I'm look, looking at her even more, she reminds me of The Undertaker's ex-wife. Like, she, back in the early 2000s when she was on TV and everything, she, she kind of looks like that. You know, bandana, leather, she even has, like, the, the skeleton gloves on. Like, she just looks sick. It looks really, really nice. So, <laughs> thank you so much for that. And let's get on to Superstar number three. Now, with Superstar number three, we have Furiosa, I think that's how you say it, by Kenna Kilmore. I think, I think that's how you say that also. <laughs> but with this Superstar here, again, it's another one that's kind of demonic, uh, starting off with the eyeballs. If you can't tell, it's a little de demonic by the eyes, and they're kind of just dark holes, you know, with... A slight light into them it's kind of creepy and the, the you know the crazy hair you know it's got the demonic theme to it just everything the colors is red and black my favorite combination if no one already knew that it just it looks nice it looks really nice uh, the entrance attire also she does have like this it's like this big shoulder pad but it's like made of just a bunch of straps you know it looks cool and then we have a second attire here that completely completely changes my my thoughts on uh, this superstar because it, you go from this demonic girl to still having that you know that look to them with you know the the whole eye situation but then turns into like a charlie's angel you know with the the red leather everything between the top and the pants like it just it's a complete turnaround <laughs> <laughs> but like it looks really i i like the second attire i i think more just because it's just unexpected i don't know yeah i i like it i like it a lot so thank you so much for that and uh let's get on to what i picked for superstar number two now with superstar number two we have heather cordy i think they say you say it by sakura xlv now this one she seems like fresh out of high school uh maybe like just got into college like a tomboy gives me the lita slash aj lee vibes and there's a girl right now in nxt that really reminds me of her so for her attire here she does have she's wearing like the jean like like leggings then she has like the knee-high converse <laughs> which that's aj lee to a t right there she's wearing some you know fingerless gloves and then she has like this colorful top on with a bunch of different colors on it with a little fishnet down one arm and then like a kind of like a bright sleeve on the other uh and for, for her entrance attire here she's wearing like a, a beanie with like a little you know goofy face on it and with a leather jacket everyone likes to wear leather man but it looks good uh and she's she's different than these other people that are on here also she you know she she's got dreads instead of normal straight hair she just looks good you know she looks really good and she but she does look small so i feel like she might be able to get beat up pretty easily but you never know you know sometimes uh the people with the the prettiest faces and the smallest physique turn out to be the craziest so you never know <laughs> but uh yeah that's uh superstar number two and uh let's see what i picked for superstar number one now with superstar number one we have yuri yaman yeah how the fuck do i say this yamamoto oh, jesus i could not figure out how to say that last name i'm <laughs> created by uh jack jack mania now with this attire or superstar uh we have two separate attires for it the first one she's got this long straight blonde hair kind of has the uh crazy eyes going on uh like some of the other people we've shown off uh, she's got the oscar line going across her face and then she's, she's taking a lot of inspiration from rhea ripley with the you know the pants but instead of just black black and gold that means you know money 
money money black and gold is a theme for this uh entrance or this main attire here uh the entrance attire for it again money She's got this nice black and gold jacket going on with, like, the, the feathers going around the neck. You know, she's got uh, the old school, like, round sunglasses. And then, I forgot what it's called. It's not a fedora, but it's it's something else. Uh, <laughs> I can't think of the name. It's, it's like what the British police wear for their hats. On her head, looks very, very nice. Looks good. Then we go on to the second attire. Immediately, the second I saw this, gave me straight mandy rose vibes she's wearing typical trunks like wrestling trunks wrestling boots but they're kind of, they're high heels so they're not typical wrestling boots you know normal wrestling top she just looks like a wrestler man in this one she the first one she kind of looks like uh kind of looks like a like a, a bodyguard <laughs> or like she's just ready to just go below a million dollars on you know something stupid uh but the second attire here she looks like a star like i could see her on nxt her entrance attire for it she's just got this it's like a a darker gold for the attire and she's wearing different sunglasses you know instead of the like a, a leather or a black jacket she's wearing kind of like this uh robe that look it looks nice it's open in the front so it's like you can see her you know her abs going on there and it looks phenomenal I like it a lot. It, there's a lot of detail into it. Uh, I can tell for a fact that when it came to you trying to customize the, the figure for the superstar, you took your time with it because that body style isn't in the game. Like, you, you had to put some freaking detail into doing that, and it looks very, very nice. So thank you so much for that, guys. That was eight superstars eight women wrestlers that i found here on the community creations if you guys would like to submit some for your own you can do it on my discord link in the description or you can just use hashtag the gaming d when you upload your superstars onto the community creations and then i can find them that way if you're on playstation please make sure that you're you know i'm able to message you i know some people have privacy settings i'm on and it's just i can't message you if those are on so please if you can turn them off I can message you, let you know you're going to be in a video. Uh, if you're on Steam or Xbox, I'll, I'll try to figure out a way. <laughs> I'll try to figure out a way. But I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please have a like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.